Hi there, good morning, I'm Jamie. I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist. Today I'm gonna to be sharing what I eat in a day, but if you've seen my previous videos, you know that I don't just share what types of food I'm eating. I also share the reason behind making those choices so that you have better insight into how I make choices from a mindful eating perspective. This is also a video that is not intended to tell you what you should be eating. It's just to give you some inspiration and maybe learn a thing or two about mindful eating. So I'm gonna take you along with me and do my best to share why I'm making these choices. What I also think is important to share with you this time around is there are three things that I intentionally avoid that have helped improve my nutrition and my eating habits and how I feel in my body every day. So let me just start by sharing one of the things that I avoid. Number one, I don't wake up every morning and step on the scale and weigh myself. I don't have a scale in my house. I don't find it necessary. It's not a number that I'm interested in monitoring for myself. And with my clients, I take a very individualized approach with this. So I lean towards avoiding the scale just because of the detrimental effects that it can have on your mental and emotional health as well as your food choices. And I have a whole entire module on weight and body measurements in my program, Mind Body Nutrition Reset, which I cover in detail because I know that it is such a nuanced decision and that's just something that I think needs to be explored further if you are on the fence about whether or not you should weigh yourself. I couldn't really decide what I wanted to have for breakfast on this particular day, so I went with an assortment of things. And as you can see, there's a lot of variety and a lot of differences in taste profile as well. So I had my yogurt, which is like a strawberry Greek yogurt with pumpkin seeds and hemp seeds and pomegranate seeds, lots of seeds in there. And then two hard boiled eggs with hot sauce because I like everything spicy. And then a banana with tahini and cacao nibs. So there's a lot of variety, a lot of different nutrients that I'm getting from all of these foods. And there's plenty of protein, there's healthy fats, there's carbohydrates, and there's fiber, which is going to help keep me satisfied for longer. On this particular day, I had a lot of work to do in the morning. So I knew that I needed to eat enough food that was going to keep me satisfied until lunchtime and then I was going to take a break and get a couple of things that I needed for Thanksgiving, run a couple of errands and get my lunch out at the salad places. The second intentional choice that I make for myself is that I choose not to track. I don't track calories, I don't track my food intake, I don't track grams of food or my macros. There's nothing about my eating habits that I track. I instead choose to take a more mindful method because that's what leaves me feeling my best. I'm not bashing tracking at all, and I think that there is a place for it, especially in shorter durations. But again, this is a very nuanced conversation that I have individually with my clients because it's different for everyone. Ultimately, not tracking what I eat every single day allows me to connect with my mind and my body much more easily and make choices out of a place of understanding how I feel, understanding what I need and the nutrition of the food versus trying to keep up with a certain calorie amount or a certain gram amount of protein or carbohydrate or fat. And that just gets very tedious, especially when you have a life to live. And I personally feel so much better because I no longer feel the need to track everything. Again, tracking your food or tracking your movement isn't inherently good or bad. It really depends on your needs, your goals, how it leaves you feeling, and how it fits into your day. For lunch, I decided to try the sweet green that opened up pretty recently. I knew I had to run a couple errands and it was in the area, and so I planned on having that for lunch. I picked out a salad that was all of my favorite ingredients because that's what's most satisfying to me. I'm not gonna choose something just because it's the healthiest option. They had kale there and it's not massaged, and in my opinion, kale only tastes good when it's prepared properly. So instead I had the arugula and then the spring mix. Overall, the salad was delicious and totally satisfying. I had to finish it in my car because I had to take a call, but I was happy with my choices and very content from this. So the third intentional choice that I make each day is to start 
with a clean slate. So that means that I'm not looking back on what I had yesterday or what I had the past week or if I've been eating quote bad. I begin with a fresh mind and I make choices based on how my body is feeling in the moment. So that means I'm checking in with my body and all the sensations I'm feeling, my hunger and my fullness, and I'm making choices based on what my body needs. And of course, using my outer wisdom to make those food choices about what nutritionally is best for me. So if I were to make choices about what I was eating based on what I had yesterday, it might sound like I need to make up for what I ate. I ate ice cream yesterday. That means I can't have ice cream today. Or maybe it's, I've been eating too much, I should really cut back on carbs. Or maybe I ate too much at a party or a gathering I was at, and now I've, I should eat less. I'm starting with a clean slate. And when you start with beginner's mind, what it does is it takes away that thought that you shouldn't be having something or that you should be restricting your food intake. And it allows you to make choices in the present moment. Dinner was all about compromise. Ryan wanted tacos, so we got tacos. My fish taco had a little too much breading on it, so I took some of it off, not complaining, just stating the facts. And believe it or not, I actually did really enjoy it, despite the, the way I look and the mascara running down my eyes. It was a rough day, guys, but it was enjoyable. I wasn't fully satisfied. I had a little bit of pomegranate seeds when I finished, and that was the wrap. I was done eating for the day. Ta-da! Magical. If you like this video, please give it a like, a thumbs up, leave a comment. Thanks for watching.